here, let me, whoops, excuse me a minute, let me back up here a minute, I missed something. Nothing. <laughs> yeah, you know, on big dogs, and especially big dogs with the big chest, um, sometimes the, the stomach will flip. And then when it flips, it, um, everything backs up. Very, very sick. Emergency situation. Oh, you know, oh, Jolly, I just, just read your email. So I will, I will address that here. Then, um, that way I won't miss your email or answering it. Um, hi, Sassy Cat from Sweden. Miss, er, our little magenta girl fell, took a fall into the mop bucket today. And I noticed, yes, that she is limping a little. It's very little. It's not bad, but she does have a little limp. Um, but she fell into the bu bucket, and, you know, we do use the what she fell into is called D256. And I gave her a bath. That is a, is a chemical in there, of course. Um, but she got a bath immediately and uh, dried off. And she's doing okay. She probably needs a good brushing again now that she had a bath. Okay, we'll get started. Yeah, you know, I, if I had my way, we wouldn't have to use chemicals. But if we don't use um, good disinfectants here, we would have a very sick um, feline rescue. It's hard to say, but I mean, it's sad to say, but you, you got to fight. Can, you got to fight bacteria big time and our viruses. So we do it in the appropriate um, measurements and uh, are very, very safe about it. Yeah, we have to be clean or they, um, these cats would be so sick. No, we're going to open boxes right now. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six boxes and one package and one envelope and I didn't find any emails, at least not yet, that I know of, that went with any of these boxes. So we'll just go ahead and get started. There's, and Judy S. came in to put things away for me. Actually, I brought a golf ball to try to get it on the bottom of the green chair. <laughs> Did you, I don't know if you guys heard. We got, we had, it's, oh, it's okay though, it's scratch on the new floor. And, oh my gosh, I about died when I saw it. It was awful. And what happened was the green chair over there got pulled. And on the bottom of it, we have um, things protecting everything here. See the little white things? Um, we have that on everything here to protect the floor. And this nail on it came through, and it scratched it. So, but it's okay. It's, it's, it mopped up really nice over it. So Judy emails me today and she says, you should put, or her husband Joe says we should put golf balls on those so that, um, you know, it doesn't scratch. And so I wrote, wrote her back and said something about, I'd like to see her try to put a golf ball on these legs because I don't think it would work. And then I said, I meant to say <laughs> tennis balls. <laughs> Yeah, tennis balls. So I did. I did. Um, oh, sugar. Where did I put them? I bought four tennis balls today. Okay. But it won't. Doesn't work. I tried them because the walkers are like this, and these are like this. So I put them on. I got them on. Don't oh, stay it's, on. It's, uh -uh, they won't stay on, and they're, it's kind of dangerous. And then I tried it on these, and see, these are much thicker than a walker. So I didn't. Didn't but, work on them either. Mm -mm. but we might find something that it'll go on. We'll find something by hook or by crook. Probably need a golf ball. <laughs> <laughs> or pound it on with a golf ball. <laughs> Ooh, yay. Oh, 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 we don't have a, we don't have a name. Um, our, uh, our food food uh, pile went down because my sister Judy, you know, was here Tuesday, and she um, whittled that thing down and got all our, our shelves restocked. Oh, this is, this is something. Oh, this is salmon, and it says for gravy lovers. 
Whoops, there we go. I have never, I don't think I've seen these like this before. Fill the balls with glue. Huh, that's a kind of good idea. Did you know Fancy Feast made gravy lovers? I bet you it's like the, those, uh, the packet ones. Here's another one here that's about that size. This one, maybe, when I shook it earlier, I thought it might be a case of Fancy Feast, and now I think it really might be a case of Fancy Feast. And it really is a case of Fancy Feast. Oh, but this one, uh-oh, I know what. Yes, that one is from Elaine and Willis. Um, they've, they've sent things to us before. And I don't know how Elaine and Willis does it, but their name is always on the outside of the box after Feline Rescue. I don't know how Elaine gets it to do that, but she, she's got it figured out. And this is another case of Fancy Feast. Oh, and this is the one with the, this is an extra, another fancy kind. Fancy kind of Fancy Feast. It's got the cheddar cheese in it. Yeah, you like that one? Thanks, Elaine and Willis. I might have to keep one of these out for Oh, sorry, Tweeny, for breakfast. You like that? You got little chunks of chicken for yeah, or cheese in it? Thanks, Elaine and Willis. I know for sure. I know for sure they will like that. Oh, it's nice to know our cabinets are good and stocked. I used to worry a lot, a lot, a lot. And this one is also from Elaine and Willa. Yeah, it says right smack on the outside of the Amazon label. Oh, my goodness. It says, hi, Jackie and all at FFRC. Greetings for Bella, Putter, Twinkle, Raza, and friends. Regards. Elaine and, and Willis, and their um, cam name is Quayside. Uh, it's nice to hear from you both, Quayside. And this is a case of, boy, they make these labels so cute now. This is <laughs> ocean fish, tuna and cheese, in sauce, tasty treasures. Now, who could resist that? Thank you, Willis and, and Elaine. <laughs> if somehow the kitties could use it, yeah. probably. <laughs> oh boy, this is also from Quayside. This one I wasn't sure of. It's too small to be the fancy piece. I think we hit the jackpot on food tonight. Oh, yes, it is. Oh, I know what this kind is. Yeah, this is the... Boy, if I was a cat, I'd get really excited about these fruits. Yeah. Have you, have you ever tried these, the gravy sensation? No, but... These are good. But the kitties here like it. I know it. And I haven't tasted them before, but they always like them. And I'm going to take, you know what, I always like breakfast because I pick three things and get stuff that I know they really, really like. So we'll use one of each flavor in there for, for breakfast tomorrow. Thanks, Elaine and Willis. But now that I opened it, we better make sure... This is revived. It's in the cupboard. Yeah, she can't get into that. We had a new lock on the cupboard. <sighs> it helps a lot. Judy thought of it. She took a collar and um, put it on there, and so it's a non, it's a non non breakable or breakaway collar. So it works real good on it. We can get in, but but uh, uh, Farrah can't. And the first night that we put that on, 
Sarah was just dinging and dinging and dinging at it. And I just watched her. She couldn't get in, though. This one says it's from Swift Wholesale from Pennsylvania. Swift Wholesale from Pennsylvania. Oh, oh. oh Kaya R, K-Y-A, K-Y-A-R has sent, has sent you a gift. Let's see what, oh, we got another one of these. The kitties really do like these. These are the gravy, that same kind. Um, gravy, I don't know what the flavor is. Oh, yeah, this is the mix, so that's all the flavors. Leave that one sealed. Yeah, we'll leave that one sealed. Probably Octavia's hanging around watching to see if we open them or not. What is this? It looks like a toy. Oh, it's a daddy pom pom legs. Oh, Judy, do you want to fill that up with catnip? It's a catnip right there. I think it is. Yeah, it's got a Velcro back on it. And you can fill it all up with catnip. Supposed to look like a daddy long leg. Oh my gosh, that Velcro is really, really powerful stuff. And we've got the pom poms just for cats and the loony loops. We got one of these last week, and the kitties love these. They carry them around. Let me check something. I might have an email on this. a letter. This is from Kaya R. It says, I just recently sent you and the kitty some Valentine, so hopefully I won't repeat myself too much. I got my dad into watching your cam as well, and with a di in, within a day, he was asking if he could send something. So together we put together this little package of goodies for the kitties. We hope they like them. Each was chosen for a specific reason. The atomic bouncing ball. I don't think we got the atomic bouncing ball. Um, was a favorite of one of my kitties. Skitzer, or just Skitz, named because she was totally bonkers. She passed away a few years ago, but I still have her ball as a memory of her. It's hard not to like this toy for all its colors. The heart's pom-poms. Are sent with the hopes that cute Plymouth. Oh, we'll like them. You know, Plymouth's been adopted now, Kaya, but I know there'll be another kitty that will like them. I noticed how fast he took to that fuzzy tunnel with the softballs you got, so I hope you'll like these similarly. You know, if he comes back, we might be able to get them to him. Plymouth has definitely won over my heart, if you haven't noticed. The Daddy Long Legs, and that's what Judy's filling up. Well, maybe Plymouth will take this one, too. But it just looks like an all-around fun toy, so somebody's bound to have fun with this one. The Pet Mate Looney Loops, that one, might be a hit with Silly Tilo. That is very true. Oh, and can you see Farrah over there? She's already getting the Daddy Long Legs. Tilo, if he's open to a little variety in his rings, which Tilo would be. And the gravy sensations, you keep seeing how much the cats like these, so I had to include them. And really must pick up some for my kitties now. My kitty now, too, or she'll be jealous. You should, Kaya, because they do love that. This last item will arrive later. I'm not sure when, but hopefully by next week. It is sent the Hagen Caddick. Hagen Caddick, self rumor, is sent in the hopes that Sweet Bella takes to it. I notice her at times doing the typical kitty ear twitch and wiggle that makes me think she's got a niche that she just can't reach. Probably on the right side. I really hope that this could allow her to get those whenever she needs to and when a hand isn't in reach. 
I'm sure she'll, I'm sure she'll be happy to share anyway. I haven't seen that. Uh, Hagen cat itself rumor. Well, we'll look for that, Kaya. That's all for now. I just want to give you one more little shout out to Sweet Plymouth. I love seeing him always jump up on your lap at the computer when you were all stuck in the office. It's clear he's such a gentle boy who's just happy to have a lap to lay on or another kitty to cuddle, cutie in particular. Although I know he always likes to play fight with Jacob and Picasso. He reminds me so much of a kitty I had as a child named Lucky that I still miss dearly to this day. And if circumstances allowed, I'd come all the way to Defiance to get Plymouth if I could. I'm sure my kitty Midnight would love to have a cuddle pal once again, and I could definitely use a purring lap pal at the computer. Since that's not in the cards right now, I just wish and hope he finds a good home soon. Though I know he's always happy to be at FFRC. I will be particularly sad for him to go, but I trust you'll find him a possum forever home, and he definitely deserves one. Thank you for all you do. Your webcam friends, Kaya and her dad. Kaya, thank you. And as you know, Prelima did get a wonderful, wonderful home. And thank you for caring about him. And we'll, we'll uh, dispense the toys, too. You kitties are lucky babies. This one is from Amazon. And this one had to have gone through the Defiance US, UPS. USPS because there's a kitty cat drew on, drawn on there and I'm going to bet you that um, Gemini did that in the office. Oh, that's why this box is heavy. Oh, I don't have a name on it though. I don't have a name other than it came from Amazon. But it's the Super Scoop Arm and Hammer litter. And I'm going to go ahead and keep this out because I will use this tomorrow morning. So thank you. Can somebody maybe let our cateteer know who, who uh, sent that? We appreciate it. We go through a lot of litter. A lot, a lot of litter. Um, this is from Gordon and Nancy L. from Lannan, Wisconsin. Nancy, Gordon and Nancy L. <laughs> Einstein's been, he's been wild all day today. I think I need to put new blades in again. Ooh, loser. I think the kitties hit a jackpot of toys in there. Oh, oh. Look, check that out. Look at that. And check out the names. McCallum for the gold and Emmeline for the calico. That really, really does hit it, doesn't it? Isn't that cool? Hope your day is wonderful and full of treats for all of you. If I had nine lives, I'd want to spend each one with all of you. Nancy L. Oh, and this is Love for Cats. Love for cat. Thank you, Nancy. Hey, Judy. She got oh, in the bucket of disinfectant. Today, did you get home? She was, you know, because she looks a bit weird for you. Yeah, she is looking a little. And if our cateteri could put that, she sent a donation. That Nancy also sent a donation. I'd appreciate it. Ooh, look at that. Hi, Jackie, volunteers, and cats. Thank you for making some extra brightness in my day. I have my computer on most of the day, but sometimes I have to hurry to it when I see something happening that I want to hear. Don't keep the sound on the whole time, especially when the vacuum is running. I love to watch boxes and listen to you discuss the happenings of the day, even the sad times. Last fall, when I was on vacation, I had to take my laptop along so I wouldn't miss anything either at box time or if I missed I could watch Goss's recordings. Luckily the place had Wi-Fi. <laughs> My daughter is part of a rescue group in Anchorage, Alaska. She does cats and sometimes a dog or two besides working full time. She would love to have a clean and large rescue like yours as she has all of her cats at home 
except for a few in PetSmart. She only has two volunteers to help with kitties and socializing. Right now, she has about 35 cats in her home, mostly cage-free. Fortunately, the house is quite big. Wow, Nancy, you have to tell her that uh, I'm, I'm glad that she's helping um, rescuing animals. This box is a little late for Valentine's Day, so I will say happy belated Valentine's to all of you and the kitties. Bella, Putter, the Patties, and all the rest. Nancy, love four cats. Nancy, thank you. Thank you so much for your card, your letter, your donation. And we got a box load of toys. The kitties, the kitty balls. These are great because they do not get sucked up in the in the champagne. My kitties like Your kitties like those kinds of the jingles. Oh, here I'm gonna come up closer. Oh, mouse in a cage. That ought to drive. Uh, um, who was that I saw? McCallan today was playing with a mouse. I'm gonna give these to Judy and we'll put them over there and get some out later. The rainbow met, rainbow pack, and of course they'll like those because of the fuzzy tails. Oh, you know, we've had these a couple times before. The cats go crazy with them. One, they got a jingle bell in there, and because of the feathers. Feathers don't last long, but they don't care. They love the fuzzies. And, oh, catnip filled. Sometimes we just have to look at one. Oh, he's got a scrunched up tail. That's cute. It's a Marty Mouse. Oh, he has that to keep his tail out of the mouse mouse trap. And oh, these are cool. Hmm, I can smell the catnip on those. And the mini mice. Oh, I always get a yeah. kick out of the cats when they carry these goofy mice around. Oh, I've never seen these before. There's a few more toys. Ooh, I like this. Right, this is supposed to keep this tail out of the mouse trap. <laughs> these are cool. I gotta open this one. Silly squirrelies. I always think I've seen all the cat toys, and then I get something I've never seen before. Whoops! I should show you. I'm sorry. I should have showed you that first. Oh, like plastic. I bet you Tilo would really like these. We're just going to put these out now. I'm going to toss them in the office. Those are really cool, aren't they? I think the kitties, that'll be something the kitties will like. I'm going to put those in the office. No, oh, okay. Yeah, where it's like hard, hard plastic. And it almost has a catnip smell to it. And little, another one. A special present for the queen. This has to be our Bella girl. Oh. <laughs> Perfectly pink. A glitter uh, bling bling purse. I've never seen one of these either. Oh my goodness. Thank you, Nancy. Thank you, love for cats. There she is. Oh, we should put that on your paws, right? There you go, look at that. <laughs> it matches her, her collar. <laughs> <laughs> she says somebody's going to pay for this. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Nancy. Nancy. You got my sister's name. Sister got it off? Yeah, she, oh. <laughs> she would like this. <laughs> she flung it. Oh, that was so no much. <laughs> And this is to Ada Jane. Oh, I see Ada. Here, Ada. Oh. You want to hold Ada? She's got her own card to Ada Jane. Oh, this is from our friend Lillian from Illinois. Oh. Uh, if I hope you like this card. Want to wish you happy birthday. Remember, she had a birthday a few days ago. Enjoy your day. 
you send you a big hug and kisses from your friend Lillian, whose kitties are Oreo, Albus, Max, Zena, and 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 Max. It was down here twice. Oreo, Elvis, Max, and Zena. Happy seventeenth birthday. But check this out. It was for one for Ada Jane and one for me. I love these little token things. I was I saved those. But this one says girlfriend token. Good for a girl's night out, but it looks like it's in the shape of a cat. And this one is Guardian Angel. Thank you, Lillian. These are both very, very pretty. My mom and I went through my container that I have of all these little little token things. It says from your friend Lillian. Molina Molina is the chatter name. My baby says hi and happy oh. birthday from Oreo, Elvis, Max, Baby, and Zena. That's what it is. Oreo, Elvis, Max, Baby, and Zena. They say big hug and kiss. And look at this. I love you this much. And our arms are stretched out. Dear Ada Jean, I want to wish you a happy birthday. Here is a card for your birthday. Hope you like it. Enjoy your day. I send you this coupon to you and you can share with your brothers and sisters. Tell Mom and Jackie I said hi. Send her a big hug and kiss and put her too. Here is a gift for you. It is a token for your birthday and I send one to your mama too. So well added Jean, you let go for now. I'll go for now. Take good care and send you a big hug and kiss. Lillian, thank you so much. That's very sweet of you. And I will use these coupons. They are ones that we can definitely use. She's a purchase matcher. Yeah. <laughs> Did you get that purse? Oh, you better watch it. Bella might clobber you. I bet you if you give Bella a baby food jar, she would say that that's okay. And we have a package here. And this is from Amazon. There's one thing right here. I couldn't figure this one out. Though. Well, this is from Kai. Oh, this is the one that thing that was missing in in the other thing. This is a favorite one of my kitties. Pronounced it's Skitzer or just Skitz. Named because she was totally bonkers. She passed away a few years ago, but I still have her ball as a memory of her. Oh, uh, this is that atomic rubber ball. Isn't that neat? So, I have seen toys tonight I have never seen before. Oh, oh, they do go bonkers. Oh, hey, that's really cool. They bounce all over the place. They're kind of a soft but yet a hard rubber and they found kitty. Oh wow. Oh I think Tweeny's going after one. Oh they do, they go kind of crazy. Thank you, Kaya. Those are really cool. I hadn't seen those before. Um thank you everybody for being with us. Uh, we've got a few updates on things. Um Every day I'm working a little bit more on the uh, questions for the frequently asked questions for the for the website. I got a lot of the questions from you viewers out there, and um, we are working on the Sheriff Cutter says thing that you all sent in a whole bunch of comments on uh, the quotes and that and I do believe that our web website guy is going to be adding another page onto the website with all of the sayings on there so what we're doing is I've got, I made tons of copies of those and every time that the volunteers come I give them a paper of it so that they don't have any influence from any of the other voters and they have their own separate page and uh, so we're kind of gathering it up and going to come up with the, with the top 10 on that. Uh, yep, Lens is, is wonderful and uh, the Kitty Siri is doing really, really good there. 
Linda was back in the kitty campus room um, visiting the kitties um, for cat therapy. She needed cat therapy. We did get two new cats in today, two new kittens, and they won't be out yet, of course, because they're in quarantine. Um, but one of them looks like a little Jaina, and the other one is all, and it's a girl, of course, because it's a torty tiger. I have not aged them yet, but just don't quote me on this, but just seeing, uh, just seeing them and without checking the teeth and everything yet, probably mm, 11, 12 weeks old might change tomorrow on that. And then the other one is an all white male cat, probably about four and a half months old. Uh, looks like it's gone through a rough time. It was pretty skinny. Blue eyes, two blue eyes. Awesome looking kitty. Um, <laughs> yeah, Canton, don't quote me. Uh, and this white kitty is uh, was really dirty, really thin, really dirty. Had lots of fleas, but they're all clean now. You know, I'm not sure, CJ. I would sus be very suspicious of it because it is a boy. It is white. It has two blue eyes. Um, and the other thing is, when it was back there and it was in a pen by itself and not happy being by itself. It was meowing really, really, really loud. Did you see the two newbies? Really cute. Beautiful. Yeah, really, really pretty. Uh, we did also today move um, Dickens from Dodger's pen into... Oh, that door should be shut. Oh, yes. Oh, good. That yeah, door should be shut. Yeah, thank you, Judy. Um, is shut now in Cat's Corner room. And um, he's, he's running around in there. Being a good boy. Here, Judy's going to hold him. Mm -hmm. He was he's sleeping. Yeah. Wasn't he? Was he sleeping, baby? Wow, was you sleeping? He purred for him really good yesterday. He did. <laughs> he's such a good kitty. Here he is. You going to purr for him? You going to meow? Say hi. <laughs> oh, so such short hair, doesn't he? I, I had said that I would have the pregnant boy cat story, but I didn't have time to find it. I did try, and I've got so many stacks of albums of books that I did not find that one yet, but I will find it. But I did find something that I thought you all would like. Oh, they're so cute. Oh, the paper is shiny. There. That's one of the patties. That's patty cake. <laughs> Isn't that just adorable? Yep, that's one of the patty babies. And this one I know you'll really like. <laughs> this is mommy with both of the babies. And check out Patty Purr in the back. Is, is hanging on, slurping away, drinking his supper while he's supposed to be getting his picture taken. And that's their mama. Isn't that cute? I know a lot of you guys were here with us when we had them as babies. And this, I just love this. I always, I'd pick them up and just squeeze them. Mommy was adopted. Um, we were going to have the patties adopted, and then our friends from Bermuda um, adopted them and then gifted them back to the rescue center. We don't do that too often because we want the kitties to keep moving so that uh, we can keep taking in new ones. Isn't that cute? Oh, my goodness. When I saw those, I just, it's hard to believe. Oh. Look at this. Check that out. That's my baby. Oh, shoot. It's so shiny. Let me just take it out. This is zany when she with my one of my naked babies. Oh, too cute when she was a baby. Oh, look at those bad ears. Oh, geez. 
Okay, I love pictures. Oh, look at this one. That's Vera. These were taken probably like a year ago or so somewhere. Oh, here we go. They were taken September of 2010. She's just a young one there. Um, they not recently, Hummer. Um, but that, but goodness, they they paid an extra amount for them because of all the care that they needed. Oh, and they that remember they were sick babies. Okay, a lot of you guys have maybe never seen this, but you all know Tonio's den there. Tonio's den that's sticking out here. This is the the Tonio. This is the Tonio boy. Uh, no, I haven't seen her baldy kitty. I have to go look. But this is this is the Tonio, yeah. He was really truly the most um, cross-eyed kitty I think I've ever seen. He was so very cute. And what did I want to show you here? Oh, I showed this one time last year, and I wanted to show you again. You all know that room down on the left of our hallway is called June's room. This this is June. She was an old girl when we had her and that's my friend Kate. This was taken in 2003 so nine years ago and um, she was so sick when she first came in. Look at her. I mean you can tell she's emaciated there. Very, 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 very skinny girl. So that's June. That's who's who the room is named after. And I had one here I wanted to show you. I'm not sure I remember what it was. This one. You guys won't believe this. Not the best picture. I probably took this one. Hi, cutie. Oh, well, okay. Okay. Let me get. Well, I don't see her now, but she does not look anything like that. Look at Asha. This is what Asha looked like when she first came. Do you guys remember that? Remember? Remember how light she was? June passed away here. Skeeta Ken. She was very old. We had her for a few years. Yeah, look, Asha is a whole bunch dark, darker than this. Do we have a baby of Putter? Well, Putter came here as an old cat. A baby, I, I probably do have a baby Octavia picture. I'll have to search on that. Oh, oh. I gotta show one more picture and then I gotta get busy putting things away. That's Bella. Okay, you guys all know Raza. That's Raza when she was very, very pregnant. When she first came in. This says the date on the back says April 2011. Okay. Then these are Raza's babies. Can you see them? Aren't they adorable? You, some of you guys out there got to see these babies being born. Yeah, I guess that's about it. Look at those whiny little scrawling kitties. <laughs> yeah, we got a lot of good pictures. Uh, Raza is sunny. I didn't know that. <laughs> and this is an older picture of Raza's babies. Which one of those do you think is Tilo? Remember, Tilo is is Raza's baby. Or Tilo, yeah, Tilo is Raza's baby. Yeah, there was a, there is still. I think it's still on there, a video. Yeah, remember that stinky Pete? Oh, you know, I didn't see that one slide that can get kind of. Front new. right. Yeah, I kind of think you're right. Oh, that, that was one. so fun! Oh my goodness! Yeah. Oh. Okay, just one more. Well, wait, just two more. <laughs> oh. 
Do you guys all remember? I'm going to see if you guys remember who this is. Oh, boy, it's a glossy, so it's really shiny. Do you know who that is? Jack Cat Queen. Oh, my gosh, and Canton got it, too. Yeah, this is Jack Cat. Those people that was in this afternoon with all the kids, this is who they adopted. Love her, love Jack Cat so much. Yeah, that's Jack Cat. And just one more, and then I will quit. There's Raasha. Oh, there's Z too. Okay, this is Asha now. No, this isn't. This was Asha yesterday. <laughs> and this was Asha's picture when she came in. Isn't that amazing, the difference in her? Okay, just one more, and then I'll quit. I'm probably boring, you guys. Sensi. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Whoops. Yeah, let's see if you guys know who this is. I know you. I know some of you will. Hmm. Yep, Jack. I don't see my baby. Oh, that door has to be shut. Oh, okay, there was a kitty in there. So you have to yeah, Queen. Oh, my gosh, you oh, are good. Okay, well, you didn't make yeah, this is now, Xander. Okay. <laughs> this is Xander. Isn't that something? Xander was an awesome cat. Yeah, Jack Cat was named after our web camera that's on right now. Except this Jack Cat was J-A-T-K-A-T. -A -A oh, my. There's another extra special boy. K. Ooh, I shouldn't have said that. KW, yep. He's, he went into an awesome home identity. <laughs> oh gosh, I love I love going through these sometimes and just just remembering, you know, all these kitties that found homes. I did find this one today, which I'd forgotten how little she was. We still have her here. She was adopted out for a little bit and then she had to come back. No, you know, I should do I should do that, Rose. Oh yeah, Merci. Yeah, that's Merci. You're exactly right, Jade Will, Willie. They all have their own personality. Here she was. She was just a little thing and now she's a a little wide thing. Uh, you know, I do somewhere of Cutter, but I'm not positive where. I'd have to start looking looking that up. Um, I think, yeah, we, we, we should have a room just for pictures. Well, that's all I have for tonight, everybody. Um, this weekend is going to be... No, they're, they have not adopted. They're still just kind of looking around. Um... Yeah, these kitties are, you guys know these cats, that's for sure. Oh, electronic picture album. Hi, electronic picture album. Wouldn't that be cool? Yeah, I did try the, I did look into the cane, cane crutch. Now they're talking about your ideas. Cane crutch tips, but um, they're too small. They don't fit these. Remember that that laminator um, that we got last night? I laminated my first things today. This is something I've always wanted to do was to laminate the teeth development and the kitty um, developmental steps that they go through. Uh, you know, I know I'm in my head, but I always thought it would be cool to have these all written down. So like what happens at week one, week two, week three, so I did it, and I was thrilled. It's a cool laminator. It's really awesome. I had fun with that. So I got this hanging up, so we're getting ready for baby season. And, you know, one thing I wanted to mention, too, was that uh, this time of year is when we do keep our numbers oh. down low somewhat. We will never be out of kitties. I promise that. Um, but 
uh, <laughs> again, scoop the boxes. I'm laminating. Leave me alone. Um, is uh, well, hang on, and I'll get back to Twinkle. Um, because we have the month of March and April to get our numbers down as low as possible because the baby season is soon to be here and I got a very strong feeling that this year the baby season will be earlier because we've had a an extremely mild winter. I talked to two different families today. Their cats are already in heat. Amazing for the end of February. Um, so we purposely don't load up on all adults this time of year. We can't because if we did, you know, it's a known fact. For every 10 kitties I can move, we can only move one adult. So we can't load up on, we can't jack our numbers up and fill them all up with adults or we would not be able to take in, you know, the mass amount of kitties that we want to take in. Oh, Zelda Builder Girl. Um, so... Oh, Twinkle. Twinkle is doing better. You want to see her? Yeah, Judy will get her so you can see her for the baby season. Um, I actually have a lot of baby rice cereal right now. I think I have enough to get us plenty started on baby rice. The KMR liquid baby milk. I have quite a bit of powder yet. There's our cam There's our Twinks. I have, I still do have some powder KMR that I put in the freezer that we didn't use, but um, we do use some of the canned that I don't have any of, uh, or I have a few cans left of, but we use that especially for when we just need a quick, a quick fix up of, of liquid. It's on Picasso. No, not on Picasso yet. Nope, I haven't, but I'm, I'm sure that's a real good one, But and I'm sure that they will contact us. So Twinkle, you know, she did, she ate good last week or week before when we were out there um, uh, in, the, in the office, and she's eating good right now, but, you know, she's an old 15, 16-year-old cat. She's not, one, not like Ada Jane always to me looks pretty young. Uh, Twinkle is an old 15, 16 year old. Yeah, the family that took Picasso was a really cool family. Oh, thank you, Bubbles. No, no, um, Matilda. Nope, those are all determined by, by me here. We don't have any guidelines by the state or anything. We get nothing from the state government county, nothing. We are strictly a private ran rescue center. Well, you know, we've had other Siamese's and, you know, as Siamese's get older, their dark, their points get darker, but in all, in all honesty, I've never seen one do what she did. But it could be also because of stress and her food, quality of food. Maybe she just grew into her own self as she got healthier. Something. Oh, this weekend. Thank you, Anna Marie. This weekend, we got a lot of visitors coming. Um, Saturday, right? Saturday and Sunday, I believe, too. So I think we're going to have a crazy weekend. She did. She ate a lot out there, Bats. But remember, she's she is an older-looking girl. Um... She has picked up some weight. She's got a nice little tummy on her. Yes, CJ, uh, KW's neck is doing good. I do know that. I don't think Twinkle can see all that much. I do know that she goes a lot around by her pad because, you know, feeling things. Long-haired white. Yeah, we got a short-haired white male white cat in now. <laughs> I like that, Cam. Hutter determines the number. That's right. Oh, thank you. With Sterix. Oh, I'm so bad on pronouncing some of your names. That's really nice. Yeah, we had an opportunity one time to accept a kind of a large amount of money from someone, from an organization, another rescue, and I said no, and I 
years later, when things happened, it was like, oh my goodness, I'm so thankful I said no because, just because. That's very nice of you guys. Oh, a senior cinerette. Oh, we got 10. Siamese color can be determined by temperature, stress, and age. Stress and age, you know, but not temperature. That's interesting. Yeah, Twinkles, she just grabs all of our hearts. Um, we probably, Tommy, probably better wait till tomorrow to show the new cats. I haven't heard them sneeze. Their eyes are clear and all that. But just to, you know, just to do another quickie check on them. And then, then tomorrow we can. Yeah, we'll wait till tomorrow, Tommy, and then we will show. Well, thanks, Critter Cat. I'm glad you're here with us. Yeah, I'm not so sure if she went outside, maybe, Doc. She might have. But that's, that is very true. That's a good reminder. Groom, uh, Cutie's grooming problem is doing better. We did have to add her second med to it. But that's okay. If it works, that's what we want. Her new body baby. Oh. <laughs> That I did see. <laughs> Try a different kind of Lucy tunes. That's what I do. No, no, bats, huh? We're the cats, dogs, people are we're species specific. We don't give cats our colds, colds cats can't give us their colds. I've had people say, oh gosh, I had the flu last week and now my cat has it. But that's that's not true. Yes, that is Zelda Belda girl. He went down already. Okay, well I'm going to um, clean up. Who is in the blankie in front? I'm thinking you mean this. This would be Zelda. Thank you, everybody. We love what we do here. She's just the cutest mom. Um, and she was in there having a blast with laser light. Why well, she having oh, fun yeah. with it? Well, I think I'm going to go ahead and set up for nighttime. I put all of the boxes empty out there in the chair in the office. Cool. And, and all the other stuff is put away, plus your your blade is in the chair. Okay, and this is here, then. And I thought 